good morning. I am settled here in at the office and uh, we're doing uh, models and coffee early this week because you may not see me on Sunday because another full weekend coming up of uh, working around the house, my favorite thing to do. <clears throat> Still in cleanup mode from uh, Hurricane Milton. Uh, most of it's done, but um, so got some big tree limbs. I've got to get off of our greenhouse and uh, try to survey a few that are up in the top of a tree that I've got to figure out how I'm going to get down. So I'm going to do that this weekend. Um, I'm still just tired and sore all over from last week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, doing that. Um, my feet hurt. My back hurts. I'm falling apart. So <laughs> anyway, uh, but I'm here. I'm back at work. It's been a busy week and um, just doing some finishing work on a few things. Of course, finished the boat earlier this week. I uh, showed you guys that, but got another piece I want to show you. Uh, I actually, uh, I finished um, Brother Rat Fink, and I know you guys are saying, well, I haven't seen any of that build at all. And then there's the story that goes with that is a, um, that kit itself has probably become the very rarest um, of the Ed Roth kits now. Uh, since they reissued the Boss Fink kit, Atlantis did that this year for us, which was great. That has always been the hardest to get uh, Roth kit out there. Uh, and this one's right there with it, uh, Brother Rat Fink on a bike. Um, has not, uh, it was originally issued in 1964, has not been reissued. Uh, it, th there was a Japanese issue, I think, in, I think those came out around 2002. Um, not sure how that happened, um, but the, the tools apparently made it to Japan uh, for those at some point, and uh, they came out with a lot of um, kind of weird names on them, and all of them, like, you know, it, it, like, I think like uh, Mr. Gasser was like, or, or Mother's Worry was like GG or something like that. They were very strange names they hung on all of them, but, um, and those are fairly sought after. I don't own any of those because I really don't care about box art variation, same kit. But uh, that's the only time I think, pretty sure this one was reissued in that bunch. But uh, so anyway, um, this uh, this kit uh, was a gift to me from uh, my good friend, Chuck Darnell. Uh, Chuck flew down for my birthday. I think it's been probably five years ago, maybe a little longer, um, surprised me and uh, brought me some really nice model kits. and. Um, uh, this was one of them, was a total surprise, which way, way over the top for, for, uh, for, for birthday gift, but uh, it, it was really nice of him to do that. And, and I kind of, I sat on it for a while, and then um, I, I, I had one in my collection that was um, uh, kind of a builder. Uh, it was pretty rough and uh, pretty beat up and pretty lousy paint on it. Um, and I, it was a builder that I did probably... 20 years ago so it just it just wasn't as good i still have it um so it, it's still floating around somewhere out there in my bins of stuff um so anyway i, I really wanted to do a good job on this kick it was brand new in the original box but i never liked the bike the way the bike set it's just awkward and uh, i mean if you look at it in in the perspective of could the the figure actually sit on it, it no it was impossible so I wanted to do something with the bike. So I ended up modifying the frame. I chopped the frame, cut the gooseneck off, angled it way out, just dropped the stance. I used the fork parts and I used uh, aluminum tubing to make new forks, turn this thing into a really low chopper and uh, pretty much kept everything else the same, you know, just re-angled the handlebars a little bit, but everything else, but it really, it dropped it down to a nice low stance where theoretically he could climb on it. <clears throat> Not that he's real, but, um, so I did that and, uh, I really completely, um, I, I did the bike last year and, uh, it turned out really good. I did it in like candy purple and did some rad fink decaling on it and stuff. So I was very happy with that, the bike. And then I started working on the figure and I had some trouble with uh, some paint I was using or some primer. I think at the beginning, the primer was really rough all over it. And I had to sand him completely down. And then I reshot him in, in a, some, some gray paint and I did not like the color of it. So I sanded him down some more and repainted him again with one of the Tamiya gray colors, which I, this time I liked. And then he just sat. And he has sat there for probably a year. And uh, I finally just 
in the last few weeks, I, I've, I'm kind of catching up on everything uh, that I've had that I started a while back. And I, I've still got a few um, stranded kits that are kind of waiting to have something done with them. And I'll show you some of those later down the road, but not a whole lot. And I've got a, a die cast that I'm wanting to restore. But uh, I finally just find it, I thought I, I need to finish this guy. It's not that much work. And I uh, dove in there and finished him. These the figures, they're, they're harder to paint than the regular rat things. He's got a lot going on there with his little jackets all ripped on the edges around under his arms and everything. So a lot of little cut in work first by hand. And uh, I, I had airbrushed him um, a lot of it. Uh, after I put the base coat paint on, I went back with uh, and airbrushed him with black and pink. And I, you know, did the inside of his ears and stuff. But anyway, let me show you. So let me, uh, let me wangle this over here. So yeah, here he is. And uh, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I, I love the sparkle plexi that I found. Um, let me make sure I'm getting him lined up in there right. I always do this. And it's hard with the iPhone. Like, it's hard for me to judge where I'm looking. So let's see there. All right. So anyway, so... Um, Got him on, I mounted him on this plexi base and you can see here where, as I modified the forks and stuff. So I really like the, the stance of the bike. Uh, it's got more of that true chopper appearance to it. And um, just took my time on the paint. So he's a combination of airbrush and hand brush. Um, just kind of rotate him around here. And I did a little work on his back and did the Cheesy Riders Motorcycle Club logo on his back. Uh, just wanted to do a little something extra with kind of a rat skull on there or a Mickey Mouse skull, whatever you want to call him. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I'd be glad to get this in with the rest of my stuff in my collection. It's got the little bat fink up here in the corner. It's pretty cool. Um, uh, and then I just went in by hand. I did a lot of the little hairs on his arms and his belly and stuff. I did that with uh, one of the really fine little markers that I've got and uh, did all the little hairs on his knuckles and stuff the same way. So these hands are just so awkward the way they move around and stuff. But yeah, so anyway, so so that one's done and uh, get him in the in the cabinet with the rest of the rat finks. And, uh, pretty pleased with him. So yeah, so as time consuming as it was, I'm glad I took my time on it because <clears throat> it really is just such a cool kit and uh, I really just wanted to, to do a decent job on it. So I thought about adding hair and stuff to him, but I thought, no, I'm going to keep it, you know, as the kit is. So I'm just trying to do some nice handwork on there. So, so anyway, that's finished. And uh, um, I've got some other stuff in primer. And again, these are more stalled projects uh, that have been hanging around. Let me, let me grab a box real quick. And uh, so... It's just kind of some some silly stuff, but uh, uh, this is let's see, Alfred E. Newman. He's in primer. Got him in primer yesterday. Here's another one. I honestly, I started building this. I bet it's well. Well, I know it's over ten years ago. It's probably twelve or thirteen years ago. This was the reissue of this kit, and I had painted it and stuff. But the, the paint job was. Not great. I actually was going to give it to a, a friend of mine um, who passed away, and um, I kind of put it back in a box and forgot about it. Um, the other thing I'm fiddling with here is here's another silly one. Uh, this is well, it was originally one of the Disney kits, Play It Again Sam. Now it's reissued as Play It Again Tom. So it's one of those kind of working uh, kits uh, from the Haunted Manor kits uh, that Polar Lights reissued though. So then I'm gonna put some lighting in here. Um, I think I showed you uh, my buddy Days um, at his house <clears throat> in that video the other day from last weekend. And um, same thing, I just, I went on and, and put this in primer yesterday and uh, cause I had all the sub assemblies done on it and I kind of, shoved it way, way back to the side. And I thought well, at some point I'm, I'll get back to this. So you, you may not see either one of these come to fruition anytime soon, but uh, I did want to get them sub assembled and in primer and I'll start working on them at some point. But, um, uh, oh, and I got the, the shaker tried body. I brought down here because uh, 
wasn't happy. I got, I don't, well, I thought I did. Yeah, I got a little bit of a sag in the primer right here. So I'm gonna sand that today. And uh, I've got a can of primer down here and I'll, um, I just wanna sand that real lightly and then I'll rehit it <clears throat> um, with some primer today. It's really weird. It, I'm, I never have any problems with that primer sagging. And uh, that's actually the second time it's done it on this body. And I don't know if it's because of the steep angles or what the deal is, but yeah, that's giving me some grief. But anyway, so that's pretty much it. That's what's going on. So once I get that shaker truck body painted, uh, and I might be able to get to that this weekend, that's about it. I've just got a, a dozen more pieces to put on that bike and it'll be finished. So we can put that one on the shelf and um, not gonna start the other uh, 3D printed boat, large scale boat. I'm not gonna start that this year. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm probably gonna get the eighth scale Corvette build back on the bench. And uh, I need to order some candy apple red paint uh, for that, but I'm still figuring out exactly what I'm gonna do with uh, the graphics on that, but uh, I'll keep you posted. So anyway, so that's what I got for right now. And uh, thanks for tuning in. And I will probably uh, do some uh, something else this weekend. So um, I'll see you guys again real soon. Have a good day. And uh, I, hope, uh, I hope you all have a great weekend. All right, take it easy. Keep building.